just to uh, kind of give an idea of what I'm doing, I'm doubling up the insulation here. So I'll, I'll have about, uh, uh, I guess it depends on some of them are, are thicker than others. Um, so that's uh, three inches and one and a half. So that's uh, four inches right there. I've got variable thicknesses. So that one's uh, two and a three and a one. So that's three inches. That one's three and a one and a half. So it's four and a half inches. So I might try moving some of the panels around, but uh, essentially what I'm doing, as I mentioned yesterday, the water line is at right at four feet actually. So uh, what I plan on doing is um, I'm gonna just put the insulation down into the water line and then I'm going to give myself about a half a foot to a foot on top of the water line. So this is what, uh, I've got to put a second one in here still, but that's basically what I'm doing. I'm some insulating down to, the, to four feet uh, with these panels. Uh, that's what we're doing here today. And I got the panels kind of all lined up here all the way around ready to get put in so i'm just going to be using the uh the backhoe to just dig a trench down and uh and then i'm going to be uh, filling it back in so, um and then the other thing i'm going to be doing is this old ditch here right beside i'm going to dig a couple of trenches and run a couple of lines over into the um from the water table over into into the ditch and this ditch goes down it's hard to tell here with all the overgrowth that's why i'm going to clean it out but basically this is a ditch here going over to the pond in the back so i'm going to just clear out a, uh, a ditch path today so that's over here i just started clearing it i was just checking the uh if it's down to the water table or not, but believe it or not, it, it actually isn't. So that's just some clearing out I did with the bucket yesterday. So I'm going to just do that all the way down to the end. Uh, Saturday morning, uh, we're putting the insulation in. So as you can see over here, I'm uh, doubling up. So I'm getting, uh, uh, it's a minimum of three inches, but it's three and four. I just got a mixture of panels. so. I put a thick one and a thin one together to get three, or there's two thick ones to give me four inches of um, insulation. And I'm just digging out the uh, with the tractor, a little trench, and uh, we're putting that into the water table. It's closed cell foam, so it's not going to make much difference. It won't absorb that anyway, but I just wanted to uh, give you guys kind of a quick update. This is the status right now, and uh, what I'm doing is I'm using the tractor to just, uh, the backhoe part, to dig a trench along the sides. And uh, just before I go and put the, um, the earth battery in. So that's kind of where we are right now. Oh, okay, it's recording. Hello, Grandpa, what are you doing? <laughs> cutting. You're cutting the pipes? Yeah. Don't fit. It don't fit. Oh, it's stripped, is it? Why would no, they? It's too small. You gotta. It's the next size up. Why would they give you one yeah, that doesn't? I'm gonna get my handsaw because it's, it's only the bottom. I can't cut the bottom. I bought a hacksaw, but I didn't. Get it. Wait, are you gonna use the hacksaw? Okay, need one of those pliers. These are some normal pliers. I'll grab both sets of pliers in case he needs one that's stronger. Oh, some pretty big needle nose here. Okay. I got normal pliers and needle nose pliers. Pick the, this one. Forget the name of these. What do you call them? <laughs> I don't call them. I call. Them Duck bills? That's so weird. Okay, I'll put these needle nose back. 
So over here we have put in all the insulation panels for one wall, and we're uh, uh, and then we put we had to we had to what we had to do was we had to dig out the um, pieces and or like like those where they're gonna go a big trench and then we put the pieces in and then we put dirt back to hold them and then dad used the tractor to put the whole like this much dirt back and then we just used shovels to even it out and stuff and there's dirt all behind here uh, and these are all just big insulation panels and this is basically how we would do it though here we would have the trench down uh, and then uh, we would have the boards in and we would add dirt to fill it up like what you see over there And that's just what uh, Papa Amador and I are doing And then uh, grandpa over there he's cutting the pipes at 35 feet like he said earlier And dad was using the tractor to dig some more and even this out the ground is so sticky like really sticky because of all the mud and the water table coming up because we're like in the ground right now. So these are the pipes that dad bought that we're using for our uh, earth battery heater thingy. <laughs> and um, all right, so I'm going to go through here. <laughs> It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. 